what we're seeing through these strikes is actually a broader cry for help about the state of the National Health Service and what these frontline staff are seeing day in, day out, going home at the end of very long, tough shifts, having slogged their guts out, worried that they, despite their best efforts, patients aren't receiving the care they need, they're waiting far too long, and there are life and death consequences. And I think for for all of us who are patients in the NHS and all of us who are worried about the NHS, um, I don't think we should be in any doubt about how staff are feeling uh, a, a real sense of moral injury, actually, about the conditions they're working in.